And now, the benefits of spearmint. Now, spearmint actually has a longer history of medicinal use than its brother, peppermint. Ancient herbalists like Pliny the Elder prescribed mint to revitalize and restore the body. This included problems like stomach ache, dandruff, bad breath, colds, and respiratory problems. The Edinburgh New Dispensary recommended spearmint water as a present and incomparable remedy for strengthening a weak stomach and curing vomiting proceeding from cold viscous phlegm. And spearmint was actually more widely used than peppermint until the 20th century. But that's the past. Let's actually get into how spearmint is good for you today. Now, in putting this together, I actually considered spreading it out according to the spearmint leaf, tea, or oil benefits. But in the end, it actually turned out to be much easier to separate according to areas of the body. So if there's a specific area of the body that you're wanting to focus in on first, you can do that. Just look at the times listed in the description down below to know where to start. All right, let's rock spearmint lovers! Now one of the odd things about spearmint is that it actually has less research on it than peppermint. There unfortunately haven't been enough human trials for medical experts to say, yes, spearmint is good for this. However, we do know lots about spearmint based on other types of trials and experiments, and of course multiple centuries of personal use accounts. So I'm not making this stuff up. I mean, if it was good enough for my great 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 grandma, then it's good enough for me. In all seriousness, the nutritional benefits of spearmint really are quite well documented. As you can see here, spearmint contains a plethora of wonderful vitamins and minerals that include vitamin A, iron, and potassium. Spearmint also contains lots of antioxidants like rosmarinic acid, flavones, limonene, and menthol. And according to researchers, spearmint shows excellent antioxidant activity against free radicals. In one study, extracts from spearmint prevented fat oxidation in meat. And this is important because it helps fight things like cancer and chronic diseases. Spearmint is great for bad breath. <sighs> Well, yeah, that's a bit of a no-brainer. You don't really need empirical evidence to back up things this obvious, do you? But if you want a little evidence, no problem. Spearmint works because it has strong antibacterial and antimicrobial properties that break down those nasty halitosis germs. These properties are also good for other dental problems like mouth and throat infections, toothaches, plus overall dental and gum health. Besides mouth issues, spearmint is probably most widely known for dealing with various digestive issues. This includes issues like indigestion, IBS, nausea, vomiting, morning sickness, and flatulence. The compound carvone, which is naturally found in spearmint, has been shown to strongly inhibit muscle contractions in the digestive tract. One study published in the Indian Journal of Pharmacology showed that spearmint tea significantly increased lipase activity of the pancreas and intestinal mucosa. Furthermore, it increased intestinal amylase activity. As well as aiding digestion overall, these extraordinary abilities might mean that spearmint tea combats problems such as cramping, bloating, and constipation as well. My money's on a spearmint, eh? Anyone want to bet? All right, okay, I'll give you 10 to 1 odds, huh? Who's in? In an eight-week randomized study of 32 people with irritable bowel syndrome, one group was given a product containing spearmint, lemon balm, and coriander, along with loperamide for diarrhea or psyllium for constipation. At the end of the study, people who received the spearmint-containing supplement reported less abdominal pain, discomfort, and bloating compared to those in the placebo group. Well, we've talked about how spearmint is good for nausea and vomiting, but in one specific study involving chemotherapy patients after surgery, spearmint essential oil applied to the skin significantly reduced the incidence of nausea and vomiting compared to a placebo group. So I'm lumping these three issues together because when it comes to various issues like stress, fatigue, and nervous system problems, they affect both the brain and the body. There was a large review of various animal and human studies that concluded that spearmint oil actually has pain relieving effects. In one 16-week study of 62 people with knee arthritis, regular spearmint tea consumed twice daily reduced stiffness, pain, and physical disability. The studies have shown that given a spearmint extract, mice have actually improved their learning and memory as shown by their performance on a maze test. In a more recent study, older adults with memory impairment who are given daily supplements containing 900 milligrams of spearmint extract experienced a 15% improvement in working memory. All this medical talk is freaking me out, man! 
Well, it's a good thing that spearmint's good for reducing stress, too. In another study on rats, a spearmint extract was found to decrease anxiety and improve sleep. Additionally, research shows that menthol has a relaxing sedative effect on the body, allowing easier sleep as well as reduced stress and anxiety. Okay, so how does this work exactly? Well, it's believed that spearmint promotes relaxation by interacting with GABA receptors in your brain. GABA is a neurotransmitter involved in reducing nerve activity. Spearmint oil has also been shown to be a big happy helper, as it can be used as a blended massage oil and an aromatherapy to help relieve headaches, stress, fatigue, and nervous conditions. Sidebar! Spearmint tea has a sweet taste but a milder flavor than peppermint tea. But it actually has more documented benefits than peppermint tea. Excellent! Yes, who wants a spot of tea? Who? don't mind if I do. Now the carvone found in spearmint has actually been shown to work similarly to calcium channel blockers. Go carvone, go carvone, go, go, go carvone! In fact, in one animal study, carvone was shown to be 100 times more potent at reducing blood vessel contractions than verapamil, a commonly used blood pressure medication. The high potassium levels found in spearmint are also crucial to maintaining healthy blood pressure. Yeah, 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 but what if you've got like diabetes or some blood sugar problems that's all kind of messed up? I mean, can spearmint really help with that? In one study, rats were given a spearmint extract. While healthy rats appeared unaffected, rats with diabetes had significantly lower blood sugar. In another 21-day study in rats with diabetes, the animals given spearmint extract showed a 25% reduction in blood sugar. The iron content in a single serving of spearmint can help stimulate the production of red blood cells and hemoglobin. Now this not only prevents anemia, but increases circulation to the rest of the body's extremities, boosting energy levels and wound healing capabilities. Studies have found that spearmint oil is effective against several types of harmful bacteria. And studies have shown spearmint to work against bacteria that caused foodborne illnesses such as E. coli and Listeria. Spearmint essential oil has the properties of an eminagog. Uh, holiday hoobie whatty. Eminagogues promote the secretion of estrogen and stimulate blood flow in the pelvic area and uterus, even stimulating menstruation in some cases. This helps to maintain the health of the uterus by allowing the oil to deal with issues such as early menopause, irregularities with periods, blocked menses, feelings of pain in the abdomen, nausea, and fatigue. And it doesn't stop there, baby. Several studies have now been done showing the benefits of spearmint for women who are suffering from hormonal imbalances. Specifically, polycystic ovary syndrome, a hormonal disorder considered common among women of reproductive age. Studies in women have shown that it can decrease male hormones like testosterone while increasing female hormones necessary for ovulation, such as luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, and estradiol. Now this is true for spearmint essential oil as well, where a study in rats found it to decrease testosterone and ovarian cysts and increase the number of viable eggs in the rat's ovaries. Drinking spearmint tea has been found to reduce hirsutism, or the growth of dark, coarse hair on the face, chest, and abdomen of women. In fact, it's a common herbal remedy for unwanted hair growth in Middle Eastern countries. Researchers in Turkey conducted controlled experiments on 21 female patients suffering from hirsutism. The women drank spearmint tea twice a day for five days. The results showed that spearmint has a potential as an alternative to other forms of anti-androgenic treatment when hirsutism is in a mild form. In a longer 30-day study in 41 women with PCOS, women who drank two cups of spearmint tea a day also reported a reduction in their facial hair. <coughs> I need something for my cold symptoms. What do I do? Well, spearmint tea has been shown to have significant impact on the health of your respiratory system due to its naturally soothing and anti-inflammatory qualities. It can help relieve sore throats and tightness in the chest, alleviating congestion and irritation. According to experts, spearmint's powerful aroma can also help clear up sinuses and even increase mental clarity. Used in aromatherapy, spearmint oil is said to help reduce nasal congestion caused by the excess buildup of phlegm and mucus in the nose and throat thereby promoting easier breathing. Spearmint oil sidebar! Now compared to peppermint oil, spearmint oil's effects are similar but milder. And for this reason, it's earned the nickname the gentler mint oil. 
And as such, Spearmint is the ideal mint option when it comes to the elderly, children, and those with sensitive skin. Used topically and cosmetically, the antioxidant quality of Spearmint Essential Oil reduces the appearance of wrinkles and skin imperfections such as discoloration. It is believed to help reveal a new layer of skin, thus increasing the skin's resilience and elasticity. It helps to cleanse the pores and tighten the skin, which may potentially promote the speedy healing of minor abrasions. Additionally, when used on the skin as a cream or lotion, it may help relieve itching, dermatitis, and hives. Yeah, that's a nice fringe benefit. Uh, yeah, can I get some spearmint over here? Although spearmint can't cure acne, there is evidence to say that it can help. Now, this is according to a 2015 study conducted by the American Academy of Dermatology. It noted that drinking two cups of spearmint tea daily reduced inflammatory acne lesions by 25% after one month and by 51% after three months. Side effects. There are none. Great. Um, this can we turn off the lights? We're all done. We're, that's good. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. That's none unless you're allergic to it or take it to excess. In which case, your symptoms aren't really side effects. They're just an allergic reaction or you're overdosing. Luckily, in most cases, the symptoms are mild. Spearmint is on the FDA's generally recognized as safe list. It has been recognized that spearmint has no possible side effects if consumed within daily limits. Now, if you do go to excess, symptoms can include skin rash, throat irritation, headache, and dizziness. In which case, if you are allergic, it's best to step away from the spearmint and look for other herbs to help you out. Some research has suggested that four cups of spearmint tea a day has a negative effect on male libido, but there is actually a recent rodent study that indicates this is not true. In which case, just nix that from your mind. It is foolish poppycock. Poppycock, I tell you. When taken within limits, spearmint tea can be used safely in pregnancy. However, excessive use of spearmint tea might cause damage to the uterus, and this can possibly lead to a miscarriage. In regards to breastfeeding, there is not enough reliable information about the safety of taking spearmint. That said, there isn't actually any research saying that it is bad for you. Also, spearmint used in excess could possibly lead to some kidney damage and liver damage. However, just to be clear, as I said earlier, when taken within the guidelines, spearmint is perfectly safe with no side effects. As I always say, just practice moderation. Just keep a close eye and make sure you're within the daily recommended allowance and everything should be absolutely fine. Woo! We made it! Ho ho ho! That wasn't so hard, was it? All right, thanks so much for watching. Hey, remember there's that handy dandy like button and subscribe button hanging right there, ready to be clicked. If you want to learn more amazing things about spearmint, please watch the history of mint and the mythology of mint. Have you actually used spearmint for the medicinal properties I talked about today? Well, please let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hear about it. Until next time, you guys take care of each other and go on out there and enjoy a nice bit of spearmint.